2018 has been a solid year of gaming so far, with the likes of God of War and Celeste, but also we've had Monster Hunter World, Detroit Become Human, a new Mario Tennis game, tons of awesome indie games on the Switch alone. So it's been solid so far for sure. But of course, there are still many good games to come. You know, Spider-Man, which you can check out my last video about, is coming out in literally just a couple weeks at the time of recording. We've got Red Dead Redemption 2, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, a new Call of Duty, and Battlefield. You guys can be sure to see some videos coming up soon on this channel about those, but that's not what this video is about. Today, I'm here to talk to you guys about games that we don't know, even if they are going to come out this year, but are scheduled for it. We're talking about games that are being given a 2018 release year, and so far, as of now, the time of recording, we do not know when they're going to come out. It might be September, October, November, December. It might get pushed to next year. So I've decided to compile a list of 10 of the most exciting games that are scheduled for this year but don't have release dates. I'm going to tell you guys about what they are, why they're of interest, and why you might be interested in them. I'm going to try to give you guys a prediction on their release dates. My name is Ryan, and I'm a Christian, and these are the top 10 upcoming 2018 games with no release dates. Number 10 is Monster Boy and the Cursed Kingdom. To know the story of Monster Boy and the Cursed Kingdom is to of course go back to Wonder Boy, a series that harkens all the way back to Sega Master System. I actually recently played Wonder Boy the Dragon's Trap on my Nintendo Switch and absolutely adored it. This game had some of the most beautiful visuals and you were able to play in the old school visuals or modern day and same thing with the music and I thought that was an amazing remake of a really old game which I truthfully knew little to nothing about. Scheduled for a release this year of course is Monster Boy and the Cursed Kingdom which is actually a spiritual successor to the Wonder Boy games and I think that I'm really excited for this because like I said I had a really good time playing Wonder Boy. Monster Boy has a very similar art style and of course it looks stunning. Apparently this is going to be an open world side-scrolling game with the same kind of platforming and you know puzzle solving and action and I'm really excited to see what this game does. Hopefully it'll do something a little different and also obviously appeal to people who enjoyed the old school games but this will probably be the perfect blend of old and new feeding on nostalgia but also being something fresh for the modern day you know. And now to predict when Monster Boy will come out Tuesday September 25th. You heard it here first. Taking the ninth place on this list is Mark of the Ninja Remastered. Mark of the Ninja is a critically acclaimed stealth action game, one that apparently really lets you live out what it is like to be a ninja in all of its glory. I think that this game seems really cool, and frankly I'm disappointed with myself that I haven't experienced it yet, but of course now that there is a remastered edition, I will get my hands on it. Mark of the Ninja came out in 2012, so it has been some time, and I've heard a lot of really good things about it. The idea of performing silent assassinations and just being stealthy, a true stealth oriented game with action and platforming definitely appeals to me and Mark of the Ninja Remastered will give people who have not gotten their hands on it yet finally that opportunity to do so. When will Mark of the Ninja Remastered come out? Tuesday, November 6th. The eighth game on this list is Team Sonic Racing. This is the next Sonic Kart racing game, a game that is perfect for parties and just getting together with friends. Maybe you've played your heart out in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, or maybe you don't have a Nintendo Switch and you want to play a fun kart racing game. And of course, if you're a Sonic fan, this is perfect. The roster is probably going to grow to be pretty sizable in terms of fan favorite Sonic characters. Maybe there will be some guest characters from other Sega properties and franchises. That would certainly be awesome. This game looks like a lot of fun. It's going to be cooperative based and it will rely heavily on playing with your friends and really just having a good time. I think that's the main goal. So Team Sonic Racing is definitely something to look out for this fall for a game that you can enjoy with your friends. And as for the release date for Team Sonic Racing, Friday, November 22nd. Coming at number seven is Travis Strikes Again, No More Heroes. Suda51 and Grasshopper Manufacturer are back with something a little different, but still a return to one of the most popular franchises that they created. <laughs> Time to play ball. 
No More Heroes being a stylish and pretty unique action game from the Wii is not getting a full-fledged sequel like some people may have wanted, but Travis Strikes Again still stars the main character, Travis Touchdown, and it is really different and looks pretty awesome with multiple mini games of sorts and just all sorts of fun, unique gameplay coming together to create a very special package and also something that is totally going to maintain all the charm and joy that you get from the over-the-top campy action games of the No More Heroes series. I think that this is something to totally look out for for fans of the franchise and someone who is looking for something different to play on their Switch. It's probably going to be a great time. When do I believe Travis Strikes Again No More Heroes is coming out? I think it's going to be Friday, November 9th. Bastard! We're trying to butter up the gamers! Your fight is here in the real world! Taking the number six spot on this list is Super Meat Boy Forever. This is Meat Boy. This is the sequel to Super Meat Boy, but it's a little different because this time around it's an endless runner. Now don't get me wrong, just like so many of you, when I heard it's going to be an endless runner, I was turned off. I thought that that was not such good news, but as it turns out, this is going to be a pretty big game with a lot of levels and content to play, and if you're a fan of Super Meat Boy, there's not really any reason to say no to this game. It's going to be a whole lot of fun and probably absolutely brutal in all the best ways possible. Super Meat Boy Forever is a game that will let you just play as it sounds allegedly forever I suppose it has a finite ending at some point but Super Meat Boy Forever will probably be something perfect to pick up on your phone or your switch of course you could play it on your home console as well but I see myself playing it on the switch on the go you know you pick it up you play a little bit you're probably gonna die a lot and then you know get back to it another time I'm really excited for Super Meat Boy Forever because it is more Meat Boy and that is such a polished amazing platformer so totally don't sleep on this and when is Super Meat Boy Forever coming out I see it coming out too Tuesday, September 25th. Coming in at number 5 is Concrete Genie, a very unique and beautiful looking indie game exclusive to PlayStation. Concrete Genie sees a teenager who is bullied and presumably not fitting in with the world around him, stumbling upon some magic. <laughs> seems to be you can find a paintbrush and start creating things. These monsters that almost seem like they help you out and they become your own friends. It seems like it's going to have a wondrous tale about friendship and probably finding yourself and overcoming problems like bullying, normal problems, but also using magic, something really special. This game has really beautiful visuals and music. I absolutely fell in love with the trailer that was first shown off at Paris Games Week last October. Concrete Genie seems like a really fresh indie game and and a puzzle adventure game with a story to tell and a lot of heart and I'm really really stoked for it. When is Concrete Genie gonna come out? I say Friday, October 12th. <laughs> Number four is Bloodstained, Ritual of the Night. Ten years have passed. And mankind too soon forgets tragedy. The demons have returned being led by the producer of the older Castlevania titles, Koji Igarashi. This is a really ambitious and exciting game for not only fans of the old Castlevania games, but also people who just love a good action adventure game. But particularly it does feed on nostalgia and all for the better because the Castlevania games are beloved and I admittedly haven't really gotten my hands on them, but Bloodstained looks to sort of reinvent it. It is a retro style game, but you know, for the modern day. It's a Metroidvania game, of course. It is inspired by Castlevania, very much so. And this action game looks like a whole lot of fun. It looks like it's gonna really bring back what made those games so popular in their prime. And of course there is Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. Now that's a little weird because it was a smaller title, but it was released not that long ago. And it got critical reception and was beloved. So that is just a good sign for what Ritual of the Night, the more ambitious and larger title, which has really been the most anticipated of its kind right now. And when do I predict that Bloodstained Ritual of the Night will be out? Tuesday, November 19th. Taking the number three spot on our list is Biomutant. Biomutant is a brand new IP and it looks really awesome. I think that it's going to be really fresh and that is kind of particularly because of the action and the combat. 
No, I'm not saying we haven't had open world action games where melee combat was the focus, but I feel like this is a little different where a lot of games give us our hand-to-hand melee combat or shooting. This relies on melee weapons and it looks really good. I'm actually really excited for what Biomutant has to offer with its RPG systems. You have this open world and you can create a character and there's all these animals and you can just change everything. You've got different fur colors and your fangs. You can change your sex, your weight, your height, your abilities, how fast you are, how strong you are, and all these different aspects that go into creating a character in a role-playing game. And I think that you're going to be able to create it in your own experience. Biomutant seems like a really cool melee combat focused action RPG. One that is going to be challenged standing out as a new IP amongst sequels and franchises, but I have some confidence in it. I think Biomutant looks really cool and definitely needs to be checked out. Of course, we need to see some more for sure. And when do I see Biomutant coming out? Well, this is the bad news. I don't think it's going to make it out in 2018. My prediction is a very specific date, February 22nd, 2019. I know it's crazy. We're getting a lot of games on that day. It would be kind of ridiculous to release this game with all those others, but something about Biomutant screams that day. I don't know what it is, but I feel like it's gonna get delayed to that exact date. The number two spot on our list is a game called The Messenger. And when do I see The Messenger releasing? Friday, October 5th. I was literally so close to finishing this video and then Devolver Digital has to go and announce the release date for the Messenger like under two weeks before its release date, right when I was almost done. What the f***? And the number one game on this list is a game called Dreams. You've probably heard about it. You've probably wondered if it's ever going to come out. Coming from developers Media Molecule, who clearly show that they have a passion for creativity in their games, thanks to titles like Little Big Planet and Tearaway, I think that Dreams is going to be amazing once it does release. Am I dreaming or am I awake? This is such an ambitious project. Dreams is basically something that lets you create whatever you want. It's going to give people who are interested in game development a chance to really step their foot in the field. It's going to let people's creative juices flow. People who wanted to make things but never knew how to go about them just go crazy with it. It'll just give people opportunities to have so much fun creating whatever they choose to make. It could be as simple as a model of a character or an entire game. Dreams is so ambitious, so unique and so big, I think that there's a good reason why it's been taking so long to actually get this game out. But once it does release, I believe that people are really going to have a crazy good time with it. And I'm super excited to just try to come up with something cool and make it a reality in a way. Dreams is effectively the most ambitious and unique creative tool that the mainstream has been able to get their hands on, or at least will be able to get their hands on, hopefully very soon. When will Dreams actually come out? Is this actually going to be a 2018 release? Quite frankly, I don't believe so. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get Dreams until 2019, and they're going to tell us that it is delayed to quarter one of 2019. All right guys, that is it for me. Those are the top 10 games coming out this year, or so they say, that do not have release date yet. But these games interest me, and hopefully after talking a little bit about it to you guys, you found some games that you're excited for, and maybe you'll keep on your horizon. So out of this list, which games are you most excited for? Which games do you want to know the release date already for? And of course, which ones do you think are not gonna make the cut? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and we'll talk all about games in general. With that being said, I'm Ryan Ramakrishnan. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.